my god. How are you gonna land that? With confidence? Oh my god, spin a Rooney. Yo! Oh, let's away. go, baby! Are you serious? Come on! You <laughs> chopped them! Ooh! That was boss. That was pretty sick. Yo! Submission. <laughs> Pyramid head won't move anymore. Looks like he's holding something. A rust colored egg. Didn't want none, Reggie. I stand corrected. <laughs> I stand corrected. Damn. Scarlet egg. Damn. You dude. chopped. <laughs> you chopped. I'm like. Mm. You wouldn't dare, he says. <laughs> Damn, I stand corrected. Even PH was like, damn, he real. All right, all right, you Yo. cool, you cool. I fucking Klim hazard I that pyramid believe. head, man. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. Let's go. Let's go. Um, Rust-colored egg. It's about the size of a quail's egg. Pyramid head was holding it. About the size of a coil's egg. Scarlet and rust. Well, let's top ourselves off first. Damn, he took the cleaver and made it work. And we did the back back B. <laughs> the horizontal swing. <laughs> Shout out Siegfried. Shout out Cloud. Shout out Guts. <laughs> All my big sword boys. <laughs> Shout out Zabuza. All right. Let me do it for you. Um, she's gone. Yeah. Are you, did you lose item in your inventory again? Or like, oh. Yes. Oh shit, you actually lost the envelope. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Yes, Reggie. Oh my god. You're correct. Now we have to check. <laughs> we have to check. You're absolutely correct. Oh, we did. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> yeah. The answer is yes. Oh my god. It's locked. Mm -hmm. There's a round indentation in the door. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Which goes where, though? Mm, I don't know. They look pretty identical. Hopefully there's no wrong answer. Hopefully. Put the rust colored egg into the door. That fits. Scarlet egg. Oh, wow. Okay, it opens the door. And. Do they both lead to the same one? That's what I was checking. Oh, on both sides. Okay. So it's still the same area-ish. Yeah. Okay. One way or another. I see a face on that door. It looks like a face. Um, here's the other thing. If I can re-enter this room. How far back can you go? To the save. Let's go. Cool. 
Okay. Should have brought three pyramid heads. <laughs> Make it a fair fight. Blood on the walls. Mary? What do you want, James? I, uh, I brought you some flowers. Flowers? I don't want any damn flowers. Just go home already. Mary, what are you saying? Look, I'm disgusting. I don't deserve flowers. Between the disease and the drugs, I look like a monster. Well, what are you looking at? Get the hell out of here. Leave me alone already. No use to anyone. I'll be dead soon anyway. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow. It'd be easier if they'd just kill me. But I guess the hospital is making a nice profit off me. They want to keep me alive. Are you still here? I told you to go. Are you deaf? Don't come back. James. Wait. That's brutal. Please don't go. That's fucking brutal. Stay with me. Don't leave me alone. I didn't mean what I said. Please, James. Tell me I'll be okay. Tell me I'm not going to die. Help me. <sighs> That's fucking brutal. Yeah. Like. That's loss. So the thing, like, you have to, like, like, no matter what they say at a certain point, it's almost like, oh, man. Yeah. You always have to have a possibility that, like, this is just, this is the a reaction. Yeah. You know? And it's like, okay. Yeah. If, is that really what they want? No, at, to let it resolve and see well, what's going. Well, as much space as needed. Yeah. But be ready in case it's, it's you know, it is just, it's part of the reaction. That is fucking brutal. And, you know, like, there's people and there's there's situations and stories in your life where, you know, um, some people towards the end when they know that time's running out, um, embrace that and are uh, uniquely positive about things in a way that is like unsettling incredible and then there's people who like completely reject it and some of the most like uh brutal visceral stories i know of and uh, have heard of firsthand have been about loved ones who just raged against all things as the clock was counting down yeah you know like absolute refusal um no acceptance step you know and it's uh, impossible it can't be happening and it's just and it's and it's the most it's just the most it's hard painful traumatizing thing in the world yeah you know um fucking hell man Yeah, face to face with death. What are you going to do? Yeah. Will you want to go on? Will you go want more? Will you have seen everything there it goes. that there is to see? There it goes. Well, that's the point of no return. Yeah. Are you sure we got everything? Because <laughs> that's that. That's that. I 
I think we can um, maybe just put the shotgun away. I like the gesture. Mary? <laughs> Wrong again. Mary's dead. You killed her. Maria? Maria, I'm done with you. What do you mean? But I can be yours. I'll be here for you forever. And I'll never yell at you or make you feel bad. That's what you wanted. Now I understand. The problem is, you're not married. No, James. I won't let you. I'll never let you have your Mary back. Oh, shit. Well, uh, you know, sometimes a gesture is just a gesture. Am I right? All right. Lock and load. Mash too hard. Let her wrench. <laughs> Mash a little too hard. <coughs> Excuse me. That's four. Man, she's levitating on her own. Uh, and big nun energy. All right, we're out of med kits, but we got soft heels and big heels. Uh huh. I can not get one more in. Oh, she's not coming too fast, though. So. Oh, never mind. Nope. I, I'm like, I don't feel like I can get one more in. Don't feel confident in that. Butterfly attack. Oh. Black Moth. Zoning. Gonna run. No! Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, she's in. No damage. Just a stagger. Oh, this fast. And she moves, and she teleports. Oh, no, okay, no, wait, there she is. Not there. Oh, here they come. Oh, the walls are... Okay, the ground is falling out. The ground is falling oh, out. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's what's happening. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. This is getting trickier. Uh, we have the sides. Oh boy. Big whiff on that. Alright. Uh, take the opportunity. Reload. Let's oh. let's get this. Let's get this thing. Make it count. Ugh. Oh no! <laughs> Keep drinking while he's choking you. <laughs> it's, the, it's the way to do it. <gasps> Too far? Okay. No? You don't like that? You like that. Okay. That's how you want to play the range game. Uh, how we doing? Seven? Seven left. Alright, we're about to empty. Yes. Yes! Three left. Four left. It was seven, so... Right, right. It was seven extra. 
And down she goes. Everything in the fucking bed, man. All these bed frames. Yeah. God damn it. All right. How are we putting you down do here? Do you need to stop her? What's going on? How we do? How we doing this? How? <laughs> how are we doing this? How are we doing this? Is she talking? Is she saying her name? Mary? James. <coughs> Forgive me. I told you that I wanted to die, James. I wanted the pain to end. That's why I did it, honey. I just couldn't watch you suffer. <coughs> no. That's not the whole truth. You also said that you didn't want to die. The truth is, part of me hated you for taking away my life. You killed me, and you're suffering for it. It's enough, James. <coughs> Mary? Uh, James! Now I understand the real reason I came to this town. I wonder, what was I afraid of? Without you, Mary, I've got nothing. Now we can be together. In my restless dreams, I see that town. Silent Hill. You promised you'd take me there again someday. But you never did. Well, I'm alone there now. In our special place. Waiting for you. Waiting for you to come to see me. But you never do. And so I wait. Wrapped in my cocoon of pain and loneliness. I know I've done a terrible thing to you. Something you'll never forgive me for. I wish I could change that, but I can't. I feel so pathetic and ugly laying here, waiting for you. Every day I stare up at the cracks in the ceiling 
and all I can think about is how unfair it all is. The doctor came today. He told me I could go home for a short stay. It's not that I'm getting better. It's just that this may be my last chance. I think you know what I mean. Even so, I'm glad to be coming home. I've missed you terribly. But I'm afraid, James. I'm afraid you don't really want me to come home. Whenever you come see me, I can tell how hard it is on you. I don't know if you hate me or pity me, or maybe I just disgust you. I'm sorry about that. When I first learned that I was going to die, I just didn't want to accept it. I was so angry all the time, and I struck out at everyone I loved most. Especially you, James. That's why I understand if you do hate me. But I want you to know this, James. I'll always love you. Even though our life together had to end like this, I still wouldn't trade it for the world. We had some wonderful years together. <laughs> well, this letter has gone on too long, so I'll say goodbye. I told the nurse to give this to you after I'm gone. That means that as you read this, I'm already dead. I can't tell you to remember me. But I can't bear for you to forget me. These last few years since I became ill, I am so sorry for what I did to you, did to us. You've given me so much, and I haven't been able to return a single thing. That's why I want you to live for yourself now. Do what's best for you, James. James, you made me happy. Oh. Holy fucking shit. That is brutal. That is brutal. <laughs> that was kind of too real. Yeah? That was... You want to talk about Silent Hill, fantasy, whatever? This was just emotions, naked, 
There's, you don't need any fantasy horror like this is this wow is real wow like and and it's it's also um presenting like it's not a straight up like uh this is what you should feel this is what you shouldn't feel this is what she should feel like it is all the complexities of mutual suffering mutual guilt and you didn't choose for it to be this way it just happened in a way it's almost like also mutual loneliness well yeah you know? and um like no the the just the the element uh, uh, this fucking song it's, it's absolutely totally dissonant right now but um uh, yeah no the, the aspect of that which is like you are gonna react in a fucking like horrible way to your own demise yeah. and cause it never seems logical and you're gonna rage against it as much as possible while also sincerely feeling, you know, like, well, you didn't waste, yeah. it wasn't a, ra a waste of a, of a love. It wasn't a ra waste of a relationship and everything that you did accomplish together was worth it. But like, it's just unfair. Yeah. It's just unfair and it's nobody's fault. But the and mind, but you want, but you want, saying, but you want to put it on someone. Yeah. And you're saying, I don't care, but you actually still care mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. you still care like so strongly and you That's can't handle it a fucking soul annihilating situation to have to fucking live through um that ending in particular now of course these games have multiple endings and the thing to you know that i'm thinking is like well this is one of them um he said to uh he said to um, Angela, I'd never kill myself. Yeah. Right? But you hear the sounds of a car. You see the bubbles of water. Yeah. And you piece together the words of come see me and us being together. And he's joining her. And you that that's pretty obvious. Yeah. You're right. Um, so that's interesting that one of the endings is him actually just completely uh, giving up and I guess taking it as like I came here to see you to join you so to speak um, I'm curious to see how else it plays out and I'm curious to see what affects that um, there was no Floros no Right? No flying item, no... Um, I was... What I was thinking for a second at the end there was like... There's the picture, right? Maybe there's something to the that photo at the right place and at the right time. Um, but, uh... Yeah. I'm, I'm curious to know what ending that was. And, uh... What affects the other outcomes. But just in terms of what we got that's yeah that's fucking heavy. annihilating that is super depressing and when you think about it like every character is kind of left to themselves like well you know like again had it bad. the the trauma is what it is yeah. right uh, again eddie's is the most selfish and straightforward so you don't really have to um dig you can but i'm sure you can, i'm sure you can dig deeper right? but you, yeah, yeah but you don't have to look too hard into it like in terms you know um in terms of uh his uh, affliction um angela, angela is just <sighs> like that that final staircase says what it says mm -hmm. you know and that explains why she's like still looking for mom to love her through the fire and the flames. Right, like, because you can imagine how that scene played out, right? Um, and you know that happens in real life, right? Yeah. Like, 
the blame goes towards the victim instead of uh, anywhere that it should. So, um, that's fucking just darkness. But, yeah, I wa I'm curious to see what, uh, what other pathways uh, you could have gotten there. Bending in water. But uh, what I knew, and what's pretty, in, what, what, you, what you can and you can tell, um, you can pretty, you can, you, you can interpret pretty, uh, I'd say, you know, midway through early on, is like you're looking at like the expressions of his own guilt and his own mind, giving him what he wants effectively, you know? Whether he wants uh, to be punished, whether he wants a um, someone to love him, someone to love him, whether he wants a uh, like sexual version of his wife yeah. that's actually up and active and around, then and like that you can you know engage with, you know, uh, uh, all of that is just straight up like turning individual. Uh, uh, ac complex aspects of what he's feeling into reality, you know. So when you so uh, and and I'm, I, I believe that there's even like further details about like the things about Pyramid Head specifically, like the aspects of like what he is that are also tied into uh, like like everything ties in in a in a way that makes sense as to like what he's seeing and why is um, my understanding of that. Uh, okay, we got in ending. We got our in water ending. Uh, one out of four. Cool. Nice time on that boat stage. Defeat an enemy by shooting six. How does that make any sense? Oh, stomping doesn't count as. Oh uh, yeah. As uh, <laughs> okay, stomping doesn't count as shooting. <laughs> shooting gets them down. <laughs> and then what is the cause of death? It's cause. It's stomping is fighting. Fair enough. Boat stage time. Oh my god. How fast can you go? They time you on the boat? Uh-huh. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> Alright, so uh, what does that guide say? Uh, I see you've been scrolling. What does that guide say about endings? I'm, I'm, I had to get away from the spoiler-free one. <laughs> I see. Um, maybe we can find a... I'm sure we can just find a video, but uh, I'm curious to know what the circumstances are. That's hilarious. The boat is actually a huge point of judgment. Interesting. Yeah, this one is like super massive, so I'm like, okay. <laughs> uh, well, while you do that, let me. I don't think we actually like we started and we went right in. So let's see what the actual intro plays out like. Yeah, I want to rewatch that intro. James, actually. honey. Did yeah. Something happened to you? The prison cell, the After bed behind her. In that long hallway? Are you confusing me with someone else? I mean, the prison imagery is pretty fucking cut and dry. <laughs> you were always so forgetful. Remember that time in the hotel? Maria? You said you took everything. But you forgot that videotape we made. I wonder if it's still there. How do you know about that? Aren't you Maria? Damn, that's an anime theme song. Yep. That's an anime OP starting up right there. <laughs> so yeah, I need lyrics. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you know all that shit. <laughs> mm hmm Yeah, uh... I want to find the ending stuff, but... I'm having trouble. I see. And he's carrying her. And she's talking.
Oh no, she's coughing. I stood Sekai Don't wanna give up <laughs> Side and two I stood <laughs> Oh man, no, that's great. <laughs> oh, yeah, all the psycho scenes. Cry for the moon. <laughs> <laughs> squeeze your English in there and get your get your 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 brackets. You know your Japanese brackets in the corner. Called in my dreams. <laughs> Need some moonlight. I see as well. that town. It's shining. Now this track is hot. This is pretty sick. <laughs> Did we see that? Nope. She. We never saw her on the ground at that. Nope. No, we're Heaven's seeing night. a lot of stuff that yeah. wasn't there. Who I am. I'm here for you, James. See, I'm real. She's real. Ishoni. <laughs> 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 All right, um, that that's a fucking that track is hot. I love that. That was a really good song. Okay, what you got? Because right now I'm desperately looking. You're not finding anything. For... That's fine. Let's um, let's take five and uh, let's get the alternate endings up and uh, find out what's going on. Okay, that's good. So, uh, we've got the leave ending here, um, and the names of these endings don't necessarily imply, like, good or bad. Nope. You know? They're, know they, they, about, they, they, they just have different titles. So, uh, let's, let's see what they entail, then. First time. Mary? When will you ever stop making that mistake? Mary's dead. You killed her. Maria? It's you. But I don't need you anymore. What? You must be joking. But I can be yours. I'll be here for you forever. And I'll never yell at you or make you feel bad. That's what you wanted. I'm different than Mary. How can you throw me away? I understand now. It's time to end this nightmare. No, I won't let you. You deserve to die too, James. That was fast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I wonder if it's gonna, if they're going, well. Hmm. Oh, he took two shots. I can't believe he double tapped his wife. James. Forgive me. Only way to be sure. I told you that I wanted to die, James. I wanted the pain 
to end. That's why I did it, honey. I just couldn't watch you suffer. No. That's not true. You also said you didn't want to die. In the VHS tape, you see his hand go up. Yeah. And just come down. But he wasn't holding anything. You. Was he? I wanted you or was we, I don't I don't think we could see if he was holding anything. My life back. It just yeah, it, it felt it looked like, like a violent like gesture. Purposefully like violent, but you couldn't tell what he Jeez. did exactly. Okay. If that were true. Folks are saying a pillow. A pillow in his hands. So okay, I didn't notice. It was very fast. Mary? James. Please. Please do something for me. Go on with your life. In my restless dreams, I see that town. They cut out the sounds of her Sorry, strangling, yeah. being strangled and suffocating because it was too disturbing. I promised you Holy fuck. Someday. Yeah, I no, did. I get it. I get it. That's... Well, that would have been too much. In our special place. Yep. Yep. Understood. Waiting for you. That's totally fair. Um, okay, apparently the letter is the exact same in each me. ending, and it's seven minutes. Okay. But you never do. James, you made me happy. Here's the question. Hold on a second. So... Sorry for what I did to you. Okay, it is silent. You did to us. I was wondering if, like, it w if there was oh. supposed to be music You're playing at a certain so point, much. just because of the little audio I hiccup that we had that happened before. I was That's like, fair. could That's it be fair. something? But, like, no. Okay. There was music. Okay, good. I mean, for a game with such wonky voice acting at times, that letter we read is, was fantastic. It was perfect. It was really good. I guess they knew that they had to make it you know, good. Well, I... So... So we had Guy Sihi on the podcast many years ago. And I remember one of the things that was discussed was how some of the wooden and weird takes. Different song? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, some of the weird reads and takes were because um, the sound engineer would instruct them to speak in a very non-natural way um and as a non-native speaker like he didn't like he would direct them to say things on with emphasis on certain syllables as opposed to the way someone would say it in real life okay. you know uh so there's a strange kind of like thing where they're reading these lines that have the right context but the emphasis is coming in the wrong places because that's what they were directed to do okay. and they're directed um, from someone who was possibly thinking about the emphasis of the line in Japanese right. as opposed to in English so um, that, it, that explains a bunch of how the, the lines came out the way they did you know Interesting. Uh, but that letter seems completely divorced from all that because you know you the context of that letter explains itself you know so that was um yeah you get everything that was easily the best read in the entire game free um yeah interesting 
and that seems to be it. Okay. All right. And he leaves with Laura. Yeah. They just walk through the graveyard and uh, towards the exit, I guess. Uh, okay. So that is the leave ending. So to receive this ending, James must act like he wants to survive. Keep stamina healthy, not doing suicidal things. Acting like you want to find Mary by going in the correct directions. Uh, the ending is the easiest to achieve. And if you play through without aiming for a certain ending, this is the one you're most likely to get. Oh, uh, Maybe not. <laughs> Do the following and you should get this ending. Recover your stamina as soon as it drops. Keep it to green stamina throughout the whole game. Uh, well, yeah. After meeting Maria in Rosewater Park, do not head east and do not make Maria tell James which direction the hotel lies. Do not head east and don't make her tell you. Listen to the entire sickbed conversation of Mary in the last long corridor. Um, do everything that is recommended to avoid the Maria ending. Okay. Uh, when your health drops, don't be too quick to heal and don't worry too much when you have red status. I mean, for me, that's just like, yo, video games, don't waste a heal, right? If you have a heal that, if something heals you for 50, don't spend it on 25, you know? Like, if you if or don't spend it don't when you're 75 don't don't spend it on 75 excuse yeah. me yeah um at least wait for it to make you know if was, i'll spend it on 45 left to heal but like you know if you're if you're overhealing then you're wasting items right so. uh do not lab <laughs> 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 to get this ending. To leave, don't <laughs> lie. Do not lab. <laughs> Do not figure out how the system works. Do not troll Pyramid Head. Do not learn your footsies. Get bodied by everything. And heal, heal, heal. There we go. Credit song, overdose, delusion. Okay. Up next, we have the Maria ending. already from the get-go might be different James I've been waiting oh yeah I'm sorry it took you can so tell long. which one you're getting just by the way you approach this room Yes, I wanted to see you. Even an illusion of you. That's why I came here. It's not true, is it? You killed me. I couldn't watch you suffer. Don't make excuses, James. <laughs> I know I was a burden on you. You must have hated me. That's why you got rid of me. It's true. I may have had some of those feelings. It was a long three years. I was... tired. That's why you needed this... Maria person? James, do you really think I could ever forgive you for what you did? Okay. So instead, this time it's... You created a Maria. So you wouldn't need Mary. Oh my god. Oh, How about the triple? <laughs> triple tapped her. Am I the only one that fucking goes for the Klim hazard? <laughs> Jesus. Oh 
God. <laughs> Gets the reload in there. I'm trying to process grief here. <laughs> Shit. You killed Mary again? You ever process grief with a quick reload and uh, a <laughs> uh, mini game? <laughs> that wasn't Mary. Perfect reload. <laughs> Mary's gone. John Wick that shit. That was just something I Maria? Maria? What James? I want you. I want you with me. Are you sure? Come on. Let's get out of here. What about Mary? It's okay. I have you. Oof. Hmm. Hmm. Just completely give in to the lie. Footsteps. Loading screen. <laughs> in my restless dreams. Yo, copium ending. I see that. Yep. Too. Copium ending. That's okay. I got you. <laughs> when you take off the mask, huge marks. Oh my god. But you never did. Just fully swerve well, into it. But what I'm alone but this is where I ask the the Shutter Island place. questions where it's like Waiting for mentally you. this is what he does. What does that look Waiting like in reality? Come to see me. Right? In his head, if he chooses to follow his own figment and say, Fuck it, fuck Mary. And so right? Wait. What does that manifest Wrapped as in, in reality? Pain. In loneliness. Let's let's see where this goes. You'll need a third person and to watch I've him. Done a terrible thing to you. Until you see that, you gotta go Something with never James's me. eyes. Are you happy? And then what song is playing? I got hope <laughs> in every area code. First of all, it's different area codes. <laughs> Silent Hill to Oakland. South Central, New York. Yeah, Atlanta. See me on Sanford Street. Go down to Nathan's. Hit up the bar. <laughs> See me at Neely's. Uh, Shaniqua. Oh, uh, she was... <laughs> you do something about that cough. You better do something about that cough, he said. <laughs> you want me to drop more towns? <laughs> There's a whole wide world that we're living in. <laughs> Angela, uh, she was a little crazy, but I'm all about that, uh. All the issues, daddy, mommy. <laughs> now you speak up. <laughs> now you speak up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now I see how it is. Shit gets a little too real for Reggie. He's got to start talking about double tapping. <laughs> mm hmm. Okay. All right. We're good. We're good. Different area codes, so. Mm hmm. All right. All right. Hey, he's living. Well. So, yeah. This is the Maria ending. Um. Yeah, sounds like that's your own form of copium there, a little bit. <laughs> Give or take. That might be your own copium. So what uh, are the requirements for this? Uh, hold on. So, so, um, I, yeah, I don't know how to interpret that in terms of like what that manifests as, because like, if she is like a part of the, you know, the delusion, yeah, then like, that's just 
Silent Hill being Silent Hill. But if she ends up being like a real person created by Silent Hill, um, that would be fucked up. Hmm. I would assume that like her being a figment and him choosing to go in with that probably, I don't know, but it probably manifests to me as like him just like staying in Silent Hill and just like, yeah. And it's still going through it and just living through the lie for as long as possible. Lupin degrading, degrading. And she was even coughing at the end. So it's like the same thing because I can't imagine a version of that where, uh, uh, Oh, let's, yeah, hold on a second. Right before they walk away. Um, At the end of the the credits? Or when, when, at the end of the letter, rather. It's like, oh, it's got a nasty cover. Yeah, after this. She did. And then you see them walking up the staircase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. <coughs> You'd better do something about that cough. Still going through it. Yeah, okay. So um because like, remember like we did she did uh uh have she was in the hospital bed and you know she was sick yeah. at a point and then you saw all the medications it's and true. stuff so like that aspect of mary is still in there which means that like even if he's going to just like bunker down and like be like nah i'm gonna live here in the illusion mm. um of, in his mind uh and have as much time with his figment as possible um yeah she's still sick too yeah yeah okay so you just fucking keeps on going you cycle that Mm -hmm. that's uh yeah that is that is absolute copium and detached from reality interesting interesting that is one that is a choice that is a choice some people some people say fuck reality if i know this steak tastes real and my brain can't tell the difference then put me back in yeah says joey pence what's good <laughs> maria ending you'll receive this ending if james shows a lot of comfort with, with maria and spends a lot of time with her thus making james think of her as a new mary do the following to get this ending well are you in control of how much maria time you get Immediately go to where Maria tells you to go. Do not go the opposite direction or make her tell you twice. Damn. Listen well. Did, was there ever a moment where what she told you was in conflict with what you were going to go do? Well, we did ask her for information at some point. I don't. And then she was like, I'll walk with you. I don't remember a point where her objective was different from what I was thinking, but I guess I was just following the, you know, like ga- the game in a way. So I wouldn't have thought about that. Certainly. Um, don't loiter. The bowling alley. Maybe it counts your distance traveled or something. I don't know. Uh, what about the bowling alley? We went to the bowling alley. We saw Eddie and Laura. Um, but when you were going after Laura, but was, um, did she tell you, oh, she doesn't go in, right? She waits outside. You were going after Laura. True. And then we get back out and she goes, fuck this. But where did she want you to go at that time? Maybe directly to the, was it the hospital or, or the, um, the, the, the museum? Yeah, it would have been because the museum comes before the hotel. So the hotel directly. Well, you can't. Well, you have to swim. Well, I mean, you'd have to uh, not swim, but yeah. you'd have to hit the boat to do that, right? Okay. 
Huh. Okay. Yeah, it, in the grand scheme of like just like going towards the the objectives that the game lays out, you definitely wouldn't think about like that as a uh Okay, so she wanted something us to find Laura. Something to ignore. Okay. So crit path only. Um make sure Maria suffers none or very little damage. Spend a long time with Maria before leaving her in room uh S three eight. 3F of Brookhaven Hospital. Uh, spend a long time with her. I guess just like wandering around. After you leave Maria in room S3, return and check on her often. Uh, I guess S3 would refer to like this date? Oh no, it was uh, just the, was name, just the, the number name of the room. room. Yeah, yeah, the number of the room. Right, yeah. Okay. Um, if you, after leaving Maria cell in the labyrinth, Try to re-enter the room, the white door, not down the stairs. Oh, we didn't try to re-enter the room after we left the jail cell. Yeah, I think we just walked out. Okay. At the last long corridor before the final boss, uh, after the pyramid head duo, don't listen to the conversation. Quickly run towards the door at the end of the hallway. Don't listen. Don't to Mary. listen to your wife. Don't don't do it. Cut it off. Fuck that. I don't want to hear it. Like, well, what is that's the one. Fuck the rest of those. <laughs> that that that's the one. Really. That's the one that fucking cements it. Yeah, I don't want to hear it. Avoid the Maria ending. Uh, hit Maria <laughs> with a wooden plank a few times, but do not kill her. <laughs> In the inventory, examine the photo of Mary and the letter of Mary. So wait, like, examine it constantly or just examine it at all? So you should, like, if you look ignore at it, ignore it if completely. You, if you look at it once, is it over? After you it's meet like, Maria. Why are you trying to reminisce? <laughs> you know? Why are you looking at that photo? <laughs> Not even once. <laughs> Not even once. Damn, dude. <laughs> the letter at the end of the game like what letter <laughs> you Maria, need to tell me <laughs> you didn't unfriend your dead wife on facebook yet <laughs> the fuck is you doing i didn't know she was dead i better not see that shit i didn't know she was dead she was still active on facebook someone's taking over <laughs> if i don't see a status update i swear to god you haven't blocked your dead wife on all social media yet? After you meet Maria in Rosewater Park, run as fast as you can to room S3 on 3F in the in the hospital. Okay. So basically, just get her the fuck out of your life. Hit her yeah. you, when you when you meet her? You get Maria? Hit her a couple who, times? Who's Mary? Hit her a couple times and then run to the hospital and drop her off in the sick room and peace the fuck out. Just deuces. Okay. Interesting. Then in water. In order to receive this ending, James must ask it, act in a suicidal manner. If you're careless and keep your health low and do other things that might give James the idea of killing himself, you should get this ending. If you wish to get this ending, do the following. Examine oh. Angela's knife in your inventory. Read the diary on the hospital rooftop. See the message to James on the wall of Neely's bar, Dark South Fail. Okay. After viewing the videotape, go down to the reading room on the second floor of Nightmare Hotel, Lakeview, and listen to the recorded conversation with the headphones on the desk. Listen to the entire last corridor conversation of Mary sick in bed before the last boss fight. Go through the game with red status often. Health. Okay. So explore content. <laughs> right? Make, explore all the content and ponder why Angela's knife has not been used as the solution to a puzzle yet. Okay. I can do that. Yeah. <laughs> I think I can. That's not too hard. Uh, do not let your health get to red status at all or too often use health items immediately when this happens to avoid it never examine angela's knife to avoid the in water yeah. ending okay yeah walk straight into fire or f fucking try to save her if possible 
you know, I can take a couple of hits to get up that stairs. Ooh. Unfortunately, the fire is also a physical oh. blocker. But if it was fire that you could run through, you could make it to her. She was walking pretty slow. Huh. Okay. And yeah. It's funny because like keeping your life low is like interpreted as like acting suicidal there. And I'm just like, I'm just conserving health items, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know, until the threat arrives, I'm going to fucking save it. Um, interesting. Yeah. So we've seen that one. It's yeah. I find it fascinating how the natural approaches translate. Uh, but this is absolutely based on these things. This is absolutely like new game plusing it, you know, there's like no way you're going to be like, she says go there and I'm playing this game for the first time and I'm going to say, fuck you, lady. Yeah. I'm not listening because in any other game, it's like, well, then I guess the game's not going forward then because the game clearly told you through her to yeah. go to that place. You know, interesting decisions they made here. All right. Rebirth ending. Now, what is this about? Mm -hmm. Am I tripping or is she at the wrong window? Yeah, it seems like a different window. New game plus only. Alright, rebirth, that's a good prefix before birth. Libas. Maria, I'm finished with you. What? Damn. But I'm what she wanted. Mary's dead. Don't you understand? Be gone, fuck. back. But I can be yours. I'll be here for you forever. I'll never hurt you like she did. My man said, if she breathed. <laughs> because you are not Mary. Without Mary, I just can't go on. Oh, James. Come on, James. You must be joking. All women are queen, James. Imagine if, like, they actually get together and they have kids and they're like, hey, how did you meet? Well, who? <laughs> Mary or Maria? Maria and James. Imagine if it works. Oh, well. It's like, where, how did you meet? I, I, I mean, you're, again. He was hung up over this. Assuming, that a, fig Mary. assuming that a figment can <laughs> get pregnant. Sure. <laughs> no surprises everywhere. Unless you don't want to deliver a Silent Hill baby. Yeah. Only for it to just go all Silent Hill on you. I thought you knew about that Bible DLC. Like, uh, babies come really easily, you know? All right, look, I've... Uh, I've... Forgive me for waking. <laughs> you know? But without you, I just can't go on. Conception, baby. I can't live without you, Mary. This town. Silent Hill. The old gods haven't left this place. Hmm. And they still grant power to those who venerate them. Hmm. Power to defy even death. That's the first time we're hearing those references to... That oh stuff from god. part one. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, Mary. Has James embraced gyromancy? Mary Gillespie? <laughs> Is that what's going on? Head gyromancer.
Yeah, okay. Seek the old blood. Oh my god. It was foretold. I, I, I guess? So he just goes full Silent Hill cult. <laughs> oh no! No letter! No letter! Doesn't need it! No letter! Yo, what? Yeah, okay. I now now this game was no, was a lot lighter on the occultism than last time. Absolutely. So the fact that he would have scraped that together in what little we saw is is quite a surprise considering how every time something like that popped up, he basically was like, was like I don't have time for this. Or I don't this means nothing to me right now, you know? Interesting. Um, I was gonna say that I've told- I, I, I've referenced it multiple times, but the character Multiple Man in Marvel Comics splits himself into multiple people. Okay. And that's his ability. And then there was one era during which they all split up and, like, lived different lives. And one of them fell in love, got married, and then had a baby, and had a whole thing. And then when the baby was delivered, it just absorbed back into him because that's how multiple man works and the wife was like give me back our son yeah. what did you what did you do and it's like yeah this is not real you're just a you're a multiple man copy why would you think that was real and then it's like oh Even yeah the baby yeah why would you try to go and so it's like that's your fucking so when you talk about oh imagine having a baby with maria and i'm like the not real girl what what do you think is going to come out of that dude Super fucked, you know? Yeah. Nothing. Exactly. Nothing Multiple men already been there. <laughs> already been through that shit. Oh, you just thought it would be fine? You're like, I don't care about the physics of this. It'll be okay. Yeah. You know? No. Yeah, well. It's one of my story. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I'm, I'm sure we'll find out more about... Um, about Maria uh, by playing her little segment there. But... Um, and how did you get that one? Uh, the Rebirth... Beat the game at least. Well, let wrong. me just... Uh, to finish my thought before I yeah. lose it. Um, I see some people are like, Maria's real. And I hear that, but I'm just like, where's the evidence so far? I've seen her that die like three, four times. So we're going to need to play that segment and see what's going on. But everything we've seen is like she's a part of Silent Hill. And we're looking at Silent Hill things doing Silent Hill bits. And she comes in and she fucking torments James. It's real to him, damn it. And she gets murked. <laughs> and that's her job is to reinforce his guilt. So like... I hear you, but I'm going off of what we've seen so far. <laughs> There's no reason to assume that fake wife gonna die to guilt you girl is, is a real thing. Yeah. You know? But if Silent Hill can spit out real people, then that's that's fucked up. That's fucked up. So. All right. In order to receive the rebirth ending, you must beat the game at least once. Starting a new game from there will be four extra items you have to collect, not including chainsaw, hyperspray, dog key, and blue gem. Okay, so they have the same kind of things as last time. Collecting the four secret items. Uh, so you have them in your inventory when you beat the game. Uh, white chrism. It's in the apartments. Book, Lost Memories, Newspaper in the Gas Station, Obsidian Goblet, Silent Hill Historical Society Museum, and Book, Crimson Ceremony, uh, behind the headphones on the bookshelf in the reading room after you watch the videotape. And that song is called The Reverse Will. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. And then... Uh... Chainsaw. Hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, I'm just uh, sorry. Um, some people are making comments on the realness or the not realness, and it's like, man, like, I said what I said. Dog. Dog ending. 
What is going on? To get this ending, you must receive three normal endings. Leave in water and Maria. Or just receive the rebirth ending in a replay game. Once you have these endings in the same save, load and start a new game. When exiting Rosewater Park for the first time, head straight and you will enter an open yard just west of Jack's Inn. Inside is a doghouse with a dog key. Get the key and use it to enter the observation room of the Nightmare Lakeview Hotel. After viewing the videotape, the game will end there and the ending will start. Enjoy! And feel free to laugh as it's a joke ending. Really? Damn. It sounded canon as canon. fuck. That's well, it, canon. It is canon. I think this is what's happening. It is absolute canon. All right. We have the truth. Jokes can be canon. <laughs> oh, Shiba Inu is controlling all the mechanisms of Silent Hill. <laughs> Damn it. That guy. <laughs> guy drops his best. His best Japanese there. Lo there you go. There you go. Everybody's <laughs> suffering on the side. Real suffering happening on the Looking background. In the toilet. Oh, you made me do that. He made it happen. Look at that. Dead white. Oh wow. Whoa. <laughs> Dead wife guilt. All in the heartless eyes of the Shiba Inu. Pulling the levers. Hey. <laughs> hey. Look at you go. Remember getting choked by the... Oh, you're loving it, are you? Yeah. Yeah? That Shiba Inu made the abstract daddy. Reggie. That pupper did what it did. Did you need to work so hard to get the true ending? All that Angela has been through. <laughs> that. That's the face. The face of evil. Yeah, you still love this song? Pure evil. You having fun? I am, actually. <laughs> yes. Dog was a true evil. <laughs> Yo, that's a banger. UFO ending. Expanded versions only. Only after you've beaten both scenarios with James and Maria, you pick up the blue gem in the restroom at the beginning of the game in the main scenario. Further stall from James. Once you have it, you must use it in the following three places to receive the UFO ending. Nightmare Hospital, after you've beaten the hangar's boss. Right in front of the boat, uh, after you've beaten Eddie and at the Lakeview Hotel near the window by the TV before you watch the videotape. Once you use the blue gem in these th three places, the game will end and the ending will start to play. This is another joke ending, so don't take it seriously. Says you. Dogs and aliens? That's crazy. I mean, we already know where the last UFO ending went, right? <laughs> so let's, what the, where do we go What's from here? on? There's so many of them. Oh my god. <gasps> oh! Oh shit! Oh! Sorry! Ah! Uh, who are you? Harry!
Sorry! Have you seen a little girl around here? Don't say it. Oh! Short black hair? <laughs> what are you talking about? Are you, what the fuck are you talking about? Anyway, listen. Have you seen my wife? Her name's Mary. Zap! Oh, oh no! And Harry still looks extra polygonal. <laughs> Got him. <gasps> oh, oh Harry works together with them now. Holy shit. What's <laughs> <is> going on? <laughs> Harry meets James. Cannon. Cannon. That's amazing. <laughs> That's fucking amazing. <laughs> Why does this sound like a bad take on the FF7 battle theme? Right? That's all you get. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Okay. I think that's canon. It clearly is. Yeah, I think that's canon. They took Harry it away. follows the first one, so... How else would it be, you know? They took Harry away, and now he came back. Mm, Screaming James away. That's great. Can't wait for Silent Hill 3. Yeah. No, just right at the end there, I heard, I heard kind of sort of like, th this, this part of the song, right here, hold up. Like, put this in your head for a minute. Okay, which song am I supposed to, to look for in my head? The Final Fantasy? Oh! Yeah. Let the battles begin. Come on. I kind of see it. I kind of see it. It's the same notes. It's the same notes, dude. Bangers. Man, you got to play FF7 Remake, dude. Yeah? Yeah, because... Like, Punch Bomb's, my PS Plus. Punch Bomb's playing it and just hearing all 11 versions of that battle theme. <laughs> I'm like, oh, it's so good. Always hype. All 11 versions. They fucking tease you so good. All right. Um, well, I'm um, surprised. At these requirements, it's it's but it's it's interesting that they didn't go for good, neutral, bad. Yeah, they just have like completely different implications, and whatever you take away is what you take away. So the interesting thing is like if you want to look at the leave ending as like, let's say the 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 good one, um, he's leaving with Laura. Right? Which is a loss when you think about it. So, like, what does that mean? There's no ending where he's, like, out of Silent Hill with no part of it with him. There's him leaving with Laura. There's him leaving with Maria. Mm -hmm. And then there's in water. Like, so there's no truth. You either, you either have a, a, you know... And the, the, like, whether or not, I don't know what the deal with Laura is, certainly. <laughs> you know, she's, I, 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 I don't know what to make of that. It was her birthday, like, a week before, before we got there. So, I mean, what is Laura's deal with being there and with knowing things and with... Yeah, how does she live there? Having letters and knowledge of Maria, of Mary, rather, and, you know, a lot of questions. All right, well, I mean, look, we have a, we have another uh, segment here, um, admittedly. Okay, let's see.
Okay, so. Subscenario, born from a wish. 